Hello, Olympians. Coach Rob here. It is fitness testing week. We like to complete our annual fitness testing later in the year as it cools off. Monday, we completed the mile run. Tuesday, we did uh, 60 seconds of sit-ups or curl-ups for abdominal strength. And today for workout Wednesday, we'll be completing two strength tests, one for upper body push-ups and one for lower body squats. All right, we're gonna have 60 seconds to give our best effort with our best movement uh, and then record the score. And we will work on building on that in future years to show that we are improving in our strength. So I wanted to make this video real quick just to review the standards on both push-ups and give you a couple ways to do them as well as air squat, which really there's only one correct way to do that. Um, so check it out. We'll start with that air squat first. This is our lower body strength test. We do air squats a lot. So this should be uh, just a refresher for most of you. I'll try to talk loud enough so you can hear me as I step back with a little wind out here. All right, first thing, we're gonna stand about shoulder width with our feet. So my shoulders are here, my feet pretty much underneath my shoulders. We're gonna send our hips, which are here, back and down. We're gonna get down low like we're sitting in a low chair. I use my arms out here to counterbalance. I press up with my heels to stand all the way up and I count my repetition at the top. Again, send my hips back and down and stand up. From the side, feet flat on the ground, send my hips back and down, and then press down on the ground with my heels, keep my chest up, stand all the way up, all right? So I'll do a few just to give you the counting cadence. You would set your timer, go, one, two, four, five, and so on. As many as you can with good technique in 60 seconds. Write the score down in your activity journal and you'll submit those like you usually do for your PE credit. You also have another test to do. It is um, for upper body strength push-ups. All right, I'll give you a couple ways you can do these, which are acceptable. I'll show you from a couple different angles. And also same thing, you're gonna count your repetition at the top. Working on developing some muscle strength in our triceps as well as in our chest here with these push-ups. So just from straight on here, all right, I'm gonna put my hands underneath my shoulders, all right, my feet back on my toes. I'm gonna to bend my elbows back and down. Chest gets low to the ground. Press up, count at the top. One, two, three. From the side, fingertips pointing forward, hands underneath my shoulders, just outside my chest. I'm gonna have my feet, I'm on my toes. I have my body nice and flat. I'm squeezing my legs and my belly. Bend my elbows down and back and then press up. One, two, three. You could also do a modified push-up by simply placing your knees down, crossing at your ankles and continuing the same motion. Elbows down and back, chest to the ground, press up, one, two, three. You would do a modified push-up if when you are in a plank here, your hips are dragging. All right, we don't want this, all right? This is maybe we don't have the core strength quite yet. We can't keep a plank position to do a standard push-up. No problem, we just drop our knees down, cross at the ankles, and continue counting at the top. Again, 60 seconds, as many as you can do. Record your score, put in your activity journal, and we'll check on those. Your grade is not based on how many you do, it is just based on your effort and your participation in your own health and strength development. All right, I hope this helps you. Make sure you're able to do push-ups and squats safely for testing this week. Um, and tomorrow we will be doing a 30 foot shuttle run test to conclude our annual fitness testing. All right, it's a little chilly out here. I'm gonna go inside and prepare for the next class. Hope to see you guys soon. Happy holidays, stay safe. Bye guys.